There is no greater agony than burying an untold story inside of you. It's a quote from Maya Angelou. Writing has changed my life, changed in so many positive ways. And I will share the seven most important ones in this video. Number one, and maybe the most important one, is that it is helping me to remove the need of money while not wasting my time. Let me explain this. Money is a need unless you are willing to sleep outside. This is true. And as we speak, I'm not willing to sleep outside and farm my own foods. So I need money to survive. Now what about wasting? time. Wasting time is much more personal. Your definition of waste can be completely different than mine. Is this true? Or are we all searching for the same thing and therefore waste of time is for everyone the same? Aren't we all searching for the same thing but just giving it different name? But that we all practically desire happiness, freedom, peace. I'm not here to give you an answer. I'm just asking the question. By the way, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. I share this because you have been convinced to care about numbers and appearance but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters and to me an effective life one without waste is a life where I get what I want and through writing I hit two birds with one stone where self-mastery and financial freedom are the birds and my creation process which is writing is the stone now, I would be lying to you if I knew crystal clear what I want out of life but what is true is that through my writing I understand more about that question and many others understanding of what i do not want in my life and that brings me closer to finding out what i do want this is true for me and i think for you too isn't it you're unserious if you believe me you're serious if you ask yourself now i won't go into depths about the financial aspect the financial freedom aspect and how you can monetize in this video but if you are serious you can follow my journey as a creator and may check my free writings below which leads me to number two you are your best guy no one else let me explain there are many coaches as a plus Thora mentors out there but most of them won't help you because they're not walking the same path as you and most of them have probably not understood how their own mind works and therefore all they will give you is perishable advice conditioned advice from their own experience which is very limited if you think about it their advice doesn't last and may not even be effective for you now, i'm not saying that all of the advice from other people is bad but you have to have a very very great filter to filter out the important stuff the stuff that is true for you and if you do not have this filter on you will start to believe a lot of things that is what happened to me that's why i always say don't believe me so please don't do that so as always ask yourself and when you do you may see that you have this thing we call memory and in the upcoming minutes i will speak about it as context and you have so much context about your own life right so much memory more than anyone else and every time you ask someone for help they need all of this context to give you the best possible answer right why would you waste your time by constantly having to give all of this context to anyone that you ask for help this only applies to people who have mentors or get guidance in another way why constantly give this context if you can coach yourself where there is a will there is a way and if you think you need someone else's experience or advice to help you then really think about how limiting this actually is because this person can only give advice that is actually true about the experience in his region and in his industry from his situations from his often limited quantity so for example i've hired over 50 people i can now give advice to someone about hiring and that may be very well true but there may be a lot of things that are not true for that person because it's very limited experience there's so many details that matter that i can't share with this person and even if i could even if i knew myself all these details so that i could express them then most of the times nobody does this right because it takes a lot of time and nobody's interested in all of these details that's why everywhere you look on google and youtube there's these short stupid rules methods that everyone tries everyone buys and they work maybe maybe for a day maybe for an hour maybe for a week but then it stops working or the advice is now given and you start to believe that and now for the rest of your life you walk with that advice which might not be true this is what happened to me and, and that's why i'm so certain that it could have happened to you so if you're not extremely careful if you do not have your filter on then this is inevitable i hope you can see this for yourself i was just listening to a business coach giving advice but this whole concept is flawed it's not about giving giving advice it's about finding out what is true or not but as always he gave it all of his opinions about it and this won't work now, this is not always true there is universal understanding you have to have like jaguar eyes or oh like ears to filter out the crap 
from the gems or the gems from the crap. Do you understand this? Words are powerful. Exposure is powerful. So I expose my mind. As I was writing this, as I am writing, I expose my mind. You see what I mean? What do I mean? You're talking to yourself all day, right? And this inner voice is doing more harm than good. You see this? And exposing your mind has many consequences for the serious person. I would say try it out for yourself to find out. So exposing, writing the things that I hear, questioning them helps me see the things it says. It helps me understand as the words appear. I become aware. And this is the first step towards complete understanding. Which brings me to number four. After I write, I leave with more understanding about my life. And the more I understand about my life, the calmer it gets, which seems to be what I want. Which brings me to number five. Writing, for me, seems to be a medium through where I find peace. I assume you have a negative association with writing because you had to do it back in school, right? Chasing this around will naturally happen when you start writing. And as always, starting is always, or seems always more difficult than it actually is. But I won't tell you to start writing or to start, because everyone in your life is already telling you to do that. It didn't work, right? So after I started writing, Writing, I noticed I felt calmer. I find more peace and naturally I started to write more. I found more joy in the moments when I'm right. I even woke up a few times now where I just had this feeling I just needed to write. So I did. I had it a few times already where I just woke up with complete stories that I had to write. Which brings me to number six. Writing has far-reaching holistic consequences. I mean you write every day right? On your phone, on your laptop, on your email, WhatsApp. Writing is a skill. A skill that you can use for the rest of your life and writing is something that hopefully I can do for the rest of my life until I this is powerful because there are very few things that I found that are doable until my bad and so far it seems like I have been looking for this thing that I can do until the rest of my life instead of retiring as a professional athlete and then feeling lost I can hopefully write until I which brings me to number seven. My oral communication has become much better as an introvert. I put this at the last one because it is least interesting to me. As you hear, I'm an introvert and maybe you too. So I don't really care about talking too much. And it's also the least noticeable one, I would say, from all of the others. Even though it is definitely noticeable, I've become better at speaking through my writing. But maybe to you, oral communication is important because you are around a lot of people and you talk a lot. Maybe you're like my sister who also likes to talk so much and by writing we'll definitely learn how to articulate things better why is this so because think about it when you're writing we have memory right so the things you write about they are now clear and you have already explored them in your head you already put them down on paper maybe rewrote it a few times therefore if the topic comes up next time it is very easy for you to talk about it but even if a topic that is completely different but might have some similarities here and there you find you can now bridge gaps and cross roads connect the dots and easily speak about whatever it is but as I said to me that this doesn't matter too much because I'm an introvert I like to be at myself I prefer aloneness for many reasons that I won't talk about in this video but you can definitely find that in my other videos of why I prefer that way but every time when I talk with others I can better communicate my understanding so that they understand as well you see what I mean it's extremely powerful let me repeat that I can better communicate my understanding which makes them understand stand too. And isn't this the essence of communication? Or highly practical, extremely powerful? Because isn't it all about understanding in this life with very little understanding to us as humans? So through writing, I've explored the depths of my own mind, of my own questions, of my own problems. So when similar topics arise, I'm able to express my understanding with much more clarity for the other people. So if this seems like a benefit to you, then writing will help with that. But I did not make this video to convince you. Because a serious individual doesn't need to be convinced. The serious is serious. Writers, right? If you don't know where to start, you may watch this video next. But it's probably for the unserious people. I will repeat myself. The serious one just starts writing. So if you start writing after this video, then it's probably not because of this video. Probably because you wanted to do it all along. And you probably can't stop yourself from doing it now. So if you do and you are serious, then please send me your writing to my email i put the link somewhere below in the show notes i will be happy to read it talk soon and to the unserious person here's my poem that summarizes the essence of this video because you love to be entertained and distracted don't you in the power of writing burning right i found some solace a guiding light for in the dawns of letters i found release a symphony of thoughts a sense of peace losing myself in my own creation lies a path to self-revelation 
So let your fingers dance, let the pages turn, in the power of words, let wisdom burn. For in the power of writing I found my way to understand more about life, a play every day.